And I'm a typeface designer. And uh, my uh, research here is a bit less academic than uh, some of our previous speakers, but still I've spent uh, quite a bit of time over the last uh, year or more uh, looking at Malayalam script and developing a typeface uh, for Malayalam. Um, Adobe in the past several years has been uh, committed to developing typefaces for Indian languages and uh, currently these are the typefaces that uh, we have in our library that we've added. Uh, last year I spoke to you about my work on uh, the Adobe Gurmukhi typeface and how uh, I have tried to bring some of the life of uh, Gurmukhi calligraphy back into uh, type forms for that particular writing system. Um, uh, these other writing systems also have type styles that relate uh, very closely to uh, written forms. Um, a little bit of information about uh, Malayalam script. Um, as with the uh, other Indian scripts, it's a uh, descendant uh, of Brahmi script uh, through Granta. And uh, as such, it uh, has a close relationship to the Tamil writing system. And if you look here, you can see that uh, some of the letter forms have a visual re re resemblance and others are quite different. Um, so uh, in thinking about uh, type for Malayalam, I wanted to also do something that would uh, relate to the written tradition. Uh, so I began by going back and looking at uh, what's the script look like in uh, manuscript form. And uh, I started to notice uh, some features that uh, were common in uh, manuscripts and also uh, some of these features are also uh, present very much in handwriting today. Uh, one of the most common features, as with many of the other writing, system, writing systems of India, is uh, this feature of conjuncts, which I've highlighted here. Um, and uh, in handwriting and also in the manuscripts, it was quite common to find these ligatures of uh, conjuncts or uh, consonants with the their vowel mantras and for example here these are ligatures with the vowel E. Uh, here are also uh, ligatures with the, the U, U vowels and uh, uh, one specific feature that is kind of uh, I mean not particularly unique to to Malayalam only, but uh, in Malayalam there's this very peculiar way of forming uh, conjuncts that end in the consonant ra with the ra that loops up and around uh, the, the conjunct. And also there are some interesting formations of conjuncts that end in ya with the loop going below and uh, back up to the right. And then this was just a, a stylistic thing that I uh, noticed in looking at manuscript forms and, uh, and handwriting and even uh, so, uh, much of the sign painting that I've seen for Malayalam is that uh, you very often see in these more hand-related uh, uh, forms of writing that uh, the A mantra is open uh, quite a bit. So in uh, converting uh, the Malayalam writing system from writing into type, some of these features were lost. Uh, for example, the, the ligatures with uh, the E mantras uh, became, the, the E mantras became detached uh, so here on the left you see what uh, this ligature might have looked like in the manuscript and on the right you see how uh, it might look in uh, present type forms. 
and then uh, again, this is another feature that was lost in the translation from uh, the manuscript forms to type. Uh, these Yao ligatures, I don't believe, ever were actually uh, translated into a typographic form. Um, and so the, the government of Kerala in the, in the 1970s and 80s uh, reformed the writing system so that it could use as few um, sorts as possible or, or glyphs. And uh, here I'm showing uh, the, the 90 glyphs that were approved by the government at that time to represent uh, Malayalam language. And uh, this, uh, this next series of slides show some of the features that were original in writing that uh, were lost in this uh, reformation. For example, the U ligatures uh, became these uh, U vowels with uh, stocks. And uh, this uh, slide also uh, relates to that, where you would, in writing, find these uh, these mantras attached to the letter that they modified, uh, again, you would now see them detached uh, with this form with a, a stock. Uh, also, a similar treatment uh, occurred with uh, the rule mantra. And uh, in fact, uh, many of the less common conjuncts uh, were uh, simplified uh, to use and show the, the visible halons. Uh, also, the, the conjuncts with uh, a, a final ra were modified uh, and uh, were broken, and the ra became this prebase form, which is now. Uh, very common in uh, type in the reform style. And this is just a, a stylistic uh, thing that has kind of fallen out of practice as I showed in the manuscript. Uh, there were also uh, typefaces that had this more open form of the A mantra, but these days it's fairly standard to see this more closed up form as you see on the right. Uh, one other stylistic thing that you would see in manuscripts and in earlier type is a form of jaw that actually descends below the baseline, uh, where nowadays uh, the jaw is usually compressed so that it fits uh, in the same vertical space as the other letters. Um, so uh, in looking at how some of these features are applied in current typography. I just took a look uh, in the past day or so at uh, some of the most popular newspapers uh, in uh, Malayalam language. Um, you can see that uh, if there's a red check mark, it shows that uh, a particular feature is being employed uh, in the typesetting of that particular newspaper. Uh, so you can see that, for the most part, all of the newspapers, well, actually all of these newspapers that I looked at uh, use a wide uh, variety of conjuncts. Uh, here I've treated, on the right hand column, the, the conjuncts ending in raw as a separate item. Um, and you can see that only actually two uh, of the newspapers actually use these, and then only one of the papers uh, the Kerala Kamundi, Kamudi uh, actually used uh, the vowel ligatures for U. So um, this means that uh, the majority of these papers actually use uh, the reformed orthography uh, with the modification that they do use more conjuncts. Um, there are, is the, the one paper, the Kerala Kamudi, which uh, uses a more traditional orthography in its uh, printing of the language. And then actually the Matribumi uses a hybrid system where uh, 
it's basically the same as the reformed orthography, but then they've added in the conjuncts for Ra. And uh, so this uh, is a bit of a hybrid system, and this is kind of the system that I've been advised uh, by consultants that I have had in uh, Kerala that this is what people are more used to reading and writing is a more of a hybrid system. And so uh, here is uh, how I propose uh, that for our coming upcoming Malayan typeface uh, would be applied. So uh, I have not gone back to using uh, ligatures with the e matra, but here you will see uh, an e matra that relates uh, more closely to the consonant or conjunct that it modifies. Uh, I've uh, not implemented the u uh, ligatures, but have kept the uh, U vowels with the stops and also the, the Ru uh, Matra uh, as well. And then uh, you'll see that uh, the, the post base form of Ya is separate, uh, but I have again added in the, the Ra ligatures and then uh, just a couple stylistic features that have been implemented are the descending form of Ja and the more open form of the A Matra. So this uh, kind of gives a very distinctive style, and uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to present this to you today is because uh, now at this point, uh, this becomes to be a very distinctive style, and uh, I want to find out if this will actually be acceptable to Malayalam uh, readers. So if any of you are readers of Malayalam, uh, if you would come up to me afterwards, hopefully, uh, I can have, get some feedback uh, from you about how appropriate this is for modern readers of Malayalam language. But uh, this uh, is a bit of a problem because as we saw in the newspaper example, there are many ways that are acceptable for setting Malayalam uh, language uh, typographically. Um, and here I have just uh, devised uh, several different uh, ways that text for Malayalam can be modified and uh, customized depending on the user's preferences. Uh, so in OpenType, uh, there are 20 features called stylistic sets. And uh, I think that, uh, in fact, these will be the best way to implement uh, in the same font, uh, being able to represent uh, the simplified form of the script, and then uh, by an applying a, a stylistic set, a user could get a more traditional appearance of the script, or as I have shown in the previous slide, uh, the user may be wanting some hybrid uh, between a purely uh, traditional orthographic form and the reformed form. So this is uh, my, my presentation. Um, I just wanted to end with my contact information and kind of uh, remind people that I do run this little project on Flickr where I collect lettering of uh, all of the writing systems of India. So if any of you have images that you would like to contribute, uh, that'd be great and it serves as a resource for people to, to look at and, and get be inspired from. Uh, also, lastly, uh, I gave a workshop yesterday and I happened to misplace my lettering book. So if any of you have uh, any information about its whereabouts, um, please let me know uh, and my references and uh, thank you very much.